<laughs> hey, 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 Marianne here, the Cross City Clogger. Happy Halloween. Today is October 31st, 2022. And I have a box of donations that were sent to me um, to open. Now, these, um, I'm gonna take this opportunity to explain a little bit about this. Now this comes, this comes from Amy um, and her YouTube channel, which I will link below, is Crafting Adventures with Amy. So now what Amy does, besides some beautiful tatting, <laughs> is crochet. Um, but what Amy does, she is part of an organization called Warm Up America. You may have heard of Warm Up America and I'm going to link their website down below and I'll also put a little link um, uh, that'll come across the top of your screen with a promotional video from Warm Up America that will explain a little bit more about it but in a nutshell what they do is they uh, call for uh, uh, hookers I was gonna say you know they call for crocheters and knitters um, to uh, help make blankets for any needy organization in the U.S. of that, or anywhere, I suppose. But what it is, is Amy kind of explained it to me. Uh, there are uh, makers who make the squares, which are a certain size. I think they're seven by nine. And then there are volunte volunteers who receive squares to... Uh, put them together and make a blanket. Then that uh, put her together person <laughs> will send off the blankets to a charity. And of course, Warm Up America has many charities they suggest that they that that you could uh, send to, or uh, you can choose any charity of your choice. So uh, this go round, Amy happened to be the assembler. I guess that's a better word for it to assemble some squares and she asked if she could send the blankets that she assembles for Warm Up America to me to donate to the charity uh, here in Thomasville where I live. And the name of the charity is uh, the Baptist Children's Homes of North Carolina. Now I'm gonna rewind about two years in November of 2020, uh, Reggie over at J Hook Crochet I know many of you, probably all of you know Reggie. Um, she uh, started a secret Santa for charity. Now remember this was back in 2020. And so what we were, part of what we were supposed to do for this event was to choose a charity uh, that we would donate to. And I knew that the children's home was right here. So I knew that's what I wanted to do. I went and visited and got it all straight. So ever since then, um, I have been donating and receiving wonderful donations from so many of you to take there. Now, if you didn't already know, Mama Swift is doing a whole, whole bunch of blankies for the children's home. And uh, Laura, Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming is funding the delivery of those blankets to me to take there. So, uh, now we have more to look at. There have been several people off the top of my head who have donated. Um, uh, Granny Crafter Edna uh, has donated. And I'm thinking Dory Did It has donated. Uh, Mama Swift has donated already. And this she donated some blankies last year. And this year she's going to have more. Uh, now Amy has donated. And I'm missing somebody. It was on the top of my head. Oh, oh Jax over at Creations by Jax. We call ourselves the ghost stitchers because we're kind of helping uh, um, Mama Swift. In fact, I'm really getting back since my surgery. I have been crocheting, so I'm enjoying it myself. It's been a while since I've been able to. So let's open up and see what Amy's created for for my charity. And I, I, I just, uh, I'm so grateful. <laughs> I have opened it. Oh, and also guys, go over to Amy's channel. She did show these blankets that she made assembled, I should say, um, 
in a video and it's wonderful uh, footage, much better footage than you're gonna see here because she had it nicely laid out on a bed to see the whole thing. But anyway, let's see. My first thought actually, when Amy asked me, I thought, man, that's gonna be hard to assemble and make blankets with squares because you have no idea what colors or if anything's even going to match but she did a fabulous job. Just wait and see. Okay. Okay. I'm excited. <laughs> Here we go. So, oh, and these are all twin size, right? Now, not that that's a prerequisite. That is the size of the beds in the children's home, but you know, they can use anything, anything. Oh, well, this looks like a big one. All right. vacuum pack. I guess I should have pulled these out and opened them too. Here we go. Okay. I'm probably going to put this right back in here. It's wonderfully packed. Oh, look at these blues. Oh, I love blue. I love blue. Here we go. Oh. Man, Amy, how'd you get this in there? <laughs> oh, it's so big. Oh my, look. Amy put some wonderful squares together. Oh, it's got this aqua in there too. Oh, this is only, oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, look at that cute border. Okay, I'm gonna turn this around, I think. Ooh, looky. Oh, how beautiful is that? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna crawl up and I'm gonna stand up. And I know I won't be able to show you the whole thing. Oh my, it keeps going and going and going. How beautiful. Seriously, folks, go to Amy's channel so you can get a much better glimpse. How beautiful is that? It's big, people. It's big. <laughs> That'll warm up somebody, won't it? I love it, Amy. Thank you. I love this border, too. Yes, look at that. So, Amy had to, you know, once she assembled the squares, she did border them, if necessary. But I, I think it usually is necessary, isn't it? It's beautiful and big. Oh! <laughs> ah, okay, let's see what else we got in here. There's one. Oh! Oh, I'm getting my exercise for the day. Okay. Ooh, this one is beautiful grays and purples. Ooh, go as fast as I can. Okay, let's shake it out. There we go. Vacuum sealed bags. It's cool. Oh, look at these purples. That border. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, it's big. Lovely. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, Let's see if I can get it un unfolded enough to see. Oh my goodness, it goes and goes and keeps going. Look at I I am just really flabbergasted at how well these came out. You know, and not really knowing what. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, I guess if the same maker sent all the same identical squares or matchy matchy kind, I'm gonna keep, keep going. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Grays and purples and lavenders. I love it, I love it. Oh, <laughs> look, Amy, it's fabulous. Did you hear me snap, crackle, pop? <laughs> snap, crackle, pop. Rice Krispies. Woo. Oh, lovely. They're going to be so, so. Oh, this must be a baby. Yes, this is a baby blankie.
show you a border close-up. Look at that border Amy put on there. Look at these lovely colors. What a lovely springtime Easter blankie for a baby, eh? Thank you so much, Amy. That's fabulous. Man, I'm wore out now. <laughs> Let's see what else we have. Here's an envelope. Oh, okay. So, yes. These are, I ordered from Amy um, some things that I want to give for Christmas. And um, like I said before, Amy is a wonderful tatter, um, tatting. Um, what, you know what? Tatting equals lace making is what I would call it. Making lace. It is a wonderful thing to see her do that. Uh, we met in Florida and Sarasota. Um, and what, what, at 21? Yeah. Um, no. Was, when did we go to Sarasota? Anyway, <laughs> the cra a Crafty Floridian Billy put together a trip, and Amy came as, and, and we met, and, uh, all of us were just awestruck by how she tats and how fast she goes. It's just a, a wonderful thing to see, so I'm very fortunate. But anyway, I decided to order some Christmas presents. Uh, from Amy, and here is her information. If you want to uh, get in touch with her um, for some of these most beautiful um, tatted items, and go to her channel, like I said, folks, and hit that bell and see some of the things that she does. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? I'm gonna show them all to you because I think they are just fabulous. Is that not beautiful? And it goes up here to, yeah, beautiful. And these are the hearts, oh my gosh. Look at these hearts, ah, stop twirling. Victorian looking, isn't it? Oh, look at these beautiful colors. Is that not beautiful? And she will put the loops on them if you want or not. You don't have to, uh, and I thought it would be nice to have the loops because that way you could use them as a bookmark or, well now the crosses are basically bookmarks, right? But with the hearts, um, they could be bookmarks or beautiful ornaments for any time of the year. Let me keep going. I ordered many. Ooh, oh gosh, this is my favorite right here. Yeah. I ordered a bunch of them. But my husband's family is big. <laughs> Aren't they pretty? And I'm gonna save one of these for a giveaway that I'll be doing in the future. So stay tuned for that. Oh, no, maybe this is my favorite. I do love blue. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. Amy, thank you. They are just gorgeous. Man, they are they are gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. Was there anything else I wanted to talk about? I guess that's it. Um, in the description box, I will put a link to Warm Up America, uh, Baptist Children's Homes of North Carolina, and Crafting Adventures with Amy, and everybody that I've mentioned, okay? So check them all out if you haven't already, and have a happy Halloween. Thank you, everybody. Bye.